Hello and welcome to this short video tour of Jubilant. Jubilant is a beautiful Haberassi 43 Mark II built in 2011 and is for sale by her first owner who used her to sail around the Solent and the English Channel. She has benefits from bonded teak decks which uh, do not have the dowels or the screw heads to worry about. Very low maintenance. It's a large hatch there for the main saloon. I'll just have a quick look at the uh, furling system. She's got electric furler for the mainsail, which is Elstrom offshore quality. Triple spreader silver anodized mast, if we have a look at the top there. And mounted on the front is the Furuno radar scanner. We'll see more of the instruments shortly. Moving forward, you've got big, wide, comfortable side decks, um, three lower shrouds, uh, another hatch for the forward cabin electric windlass which is also controlled from the cockpit she has the double bowsprit bow roller sorry and the bowsprit fits there on the port side uh, this is for use with the elvstrom furling jenica looking back over the boat you can see the teak deck is in really good condition as you would expect a boat this age uh, another extra we have at the foot of the mast deck step mast here uh, we have the uh, water outlet for the deck wash The Genoa cars can be adjusted from the cockpit. Uh, silver, um, sorry, aluminium framed windscreen with a canvas hood that can be folded, folded away. On the guard wires, both sides, we have access via these gates. That's an extra build. Jubilant has electric powered primary winches and main sheet winch is back here to control the main sheet the starboard winch is electric big wide transom i've opened up one of the lazarettes here just so you can see same both sides obviously there's plenty of room in there for lines and fenders other deck gear uh, she has the gin and tonic seats on the push pit with an outboard crane a static backstay uh, on the transom we have the sugar scoop arrangement, two steps going down. There is a hot and cold mixer for the shower, the deck shower on the back there. The view forward shows the steering arrangement. So from the, from the steering wheel you have the main sheet just close behind and the powered primary winches, port and starboard. Shore power inlet there. On the sole of the cockpit are the two buttons for the bow thruster. And then here we have the engine controls, um, the road meter for the anchor on the starboard side is the main in and out and the out haul that controls the winch and also the autopilot. Nice and snug behind the windscreen, room for four people. Uh, we have the VHF on the port side for inner instruments include a multi, a wind and a depth. We've got stainless steel cockpit speakers for the stereo system and a Furuno chart plotter with the integrated radar display. Here we are down below in Jubilant's spacious saloon area. She is the has the armchair arrangement on the starboard side. These fantastically comfortable armchairs, great for relaxing after a day sailing. She has the upholstery in deluxe blue, it's very hard wearing. We have uh, the skylight over the, directly over the saloon table. All the skylights have the ocean air blinds. On the port side is the berth, and there's also an infill, which we'll see shortly in the bow cabin, that goes in here to make it into a very generous double. There's storage above, vented storage above the port side berths, and all the hatches here in the picture, both sides, port and starboard are opening, allows a lot of air to flow through the boat. Moving forward past the deck support, the mast support on the port side of the picture we have the very generous forward cabin we have hanging lockers shoe lockers heater outlets by the sole there plenty of stowage above and below this small vanity unit and a v-berth with an infill the cushions on the left hand side of this picture are for the saloon berth storage above and below another large opening skylight and in the locker at the end of the foot foot there is the motor for the anchor windlass out of the elements in the dry. 
Um, this cabin is en suite. So we have a manual sea toilet here with teak grating, a sink, a hot or cold mixer, a mirror, plenty of stowage, and then you have a standalone shower cub cubicle with the 12 volt drainage pump. The view aft shows the four large, wide, and um, very safe steps up to the cockpit through the vented washboards there. There is a sea galley on the starboard, immediately on the starboard side. This is really great for using in any sort of seaway. Once you're in there, you're not gonna get thrown around. You've got easy access to the fridge, uh, the cooker and the sinks. You can pass things up and down. There's plenty of storage and workspace in the galley on the 43 Mark II for preparing meals underway or in the harbour. Opposite on the port side, we have the chart areas. This is a screen which usually mirrors the chart plotter up on deck, the VHF radio, and you also have a multimeter there as well. Jubilant benefits from the Empire bus system and also has map master vault battery monitors here also. All the wiring is neatly behind this drop down panel and is all original. There's a walkway here which has six foot standing room, more storage both sides, bookcase, hanging locker on the outboard side. We come through to the main cabin which is behind the cockpit on deck. So we have three berths in here, we have a large double berth on the starboard side. This is part of the engine insulation, that door there. Um, it's just off to allow us to look into the engine room later. As you can see there is another opening skylight with the blinds curtains. The port side has a single berth, this will be used as a sea berth when you're underway and alongside the saloon berths you've got plenty of um, crew, crew berths so you can uh, hot bunk or change the watches. Once you then start cruising you can move over to the starboard side, the double berth. There's a vanity unit with a mirror and then through here we have the Ensuite again, a standalone shower compartment with the Perspex screen. The toilet back here is an electric Johnson pump toilet with holding tank. Obviously, hot and cold mixer here also. A really big, light, and spacious space here. The engine room on Jubilant is directly below the cockpit sole. The main engine, as you can see, is a Volvo Penta D275 with a turbo. Uh, access to the engine is excellent. You can get around the forward, back, sides, everywhere you want. The transmission is just here as well. I can get over the top of the exhaust to access that also. Uh, we've got various bits of equipment, all squeaky clean, all in working order. There's your pressure accumulator. We have a fresh water filter with the blue cap on. Right in the back of, over there at the uh, outboard, starboard outboard side, this engine space is the hot water tank. We have the Webasto cabin heater. Just panning forward, uh, we've got deck drains, the blue pipes coming down, a water strainer there. A manual bilge pump is stationed here. We can take a look at the uh, feet for the engine, which are in great condition. And I just want to point out also that she has a brand new uh, master bolt charger on the bulkhead here. The stainless steel rod coming down is direct steering from the steering wheel. Comes down to this coupling here where you'll also find an autopilot. This really allows you to uh, have direct feel and contact with the helm, between the helm and the rudder. Sorry. Here you go. Uh, there is the uh, fuel filter primary fuel filter there and the little red handle attached to the brass pump allows you to siphon off fuel from the bottom of the fuel tank. Really clean in here, everything is really up together as you'd expect of a 2011 Havarasi 43 Mark II.